Global populations are rising, but the abundance of wild fish is not. Huge strides have been made to decrease overfishing, but wild seafood harvest alone will not reach the growing demand. And so, some have turned their attention to ocean farming. We use bull kelp to make salsa, pickles, seasonings, and hot sauce. Here in Alaska, where cultivation and harvesting of the sea is known as mariculture, new marine business ventures are being discovered. There has been a lot of interest already among fishermen or people who are involved in the more traditional fisheries in Alaska in starting to participate in mariculture, the farming of shellfish or seaweed, because one, this could be a more reliable harvest for them and it's super, super sustainable. I think a lot of people are interested in supplementing their income or buffering their fishing season with the growing of kelp and the long term that could become people's main livelihoods. Bull kelp, a remarkable seaweed that has been traditionally harvested from wild crops, is among the growing number of species being farmed in the United States. Here in the town of Ketchikan, kelp product manufacturers have teamed up with oyster farmers to grow this seaweed. Kelp was a largely undeveloped market in the U.S. and had enough data to support it that convinced a few of us to, to add that to our permit. So I think if we can bring in a little bit more revenue um, annually, then that's, that's fun for me. Seafood farming, if done responsibly, as it is in the United States, is increasingly recognized as one of the most environmentally sustainable ways to produce food and protein. So farming kelp, has some really exciting benefits, not just because it provides such awesome food, but because it actually benefits the ecosystem. You plant it out in the fall, it grows extremely fast, and it's pulling excess carbonic acid from the ocean, which buffers ocean acidification. What's amazing about farming seaweed and mariculture is there are ultimately no inputs. So you take seed from a wild uh, specimen and plant it out on lines. There's no fresh water, no fertilizer, no arable land that's necessary to grow this amazing product. This is ingenuity and entrepreneurship at its finest in a wild and pure place. Creating foods that are not only good for you, but taste good too. Bull kelp with all the salts and minerals that are in it provide a really rich umami base flavor. So it's just gonna be a richer, more savory tasting salsa than you're used to eating. This trend will continue to spread throughout Alaska and worldwide. By growing seafood near communities, it reduces the impact on the sea and ensures a safe, secure, and sustainable local seafood supply. We have 35,000 miles of coastline throughout our state, and we have pristine water and people who know how to use boats and operate the maritime economy. Diversifying U.S. seafood production can expand and stabilize seafood supply in the face of environmental change and economic uncertainty, while also providing year-round jobs and enhancing coastal resilience in Alaska and around the nation.